everyone, welcome to another Try DIY. So today we are going to be trying the DIY Temporary Highlights and Dip Dye hair color using crepe paper. So I actually bought a lot of colors. We are going to be testing this out on different hair colors. So let's get started. So here are the colors that I picked and you need to cut this into little strips like these and I actually prefer cutting them even smaller because the colors bleed out faster. So we are going to be testing out on black hair, light brown hair and then on blonde hair so you guys can see the variations. So in a bowl I will pour in some hot water and then I'll add in some salt because they said it'll activate the color more and then I'll soak in the crepe paper. So as you can see the color is already taking place. So I did the exact same thing on the other colors and I let that stay in there for 30 minutes to let the color bleed out properly and then I removed the crepe paper after that. Okay, so this is what it looks like you guys. So the colors are very vibrant and everything except for the blue one. The blue one I feel like is such a fail. For some odd reason, the color just doesn't pop out. So in here I decided to do highlights on these brown hair extensions. But then I decided to fully coat the blonde parts as well, just so that it won't look weird later. Okay, so I soaked everything in there. I didn't try the blue one because the blue one is such a fail. Basically, I'm gonna let everything soak in there. You said for an hour and then you take it after an hour. And also, if you're doing this on your own head, instead of bringing the bowl along with you, what you can do is like use the baggie method and basically get a plastic, put all of the solution inside here and then put your hair inside this bag and then seal it with either a hair tie so that it can really, really soak on your hair. So I just I decided to do a dip dye on this extensions right here. So same thing. I feel like when you dip dye it's even way better and easier just because you're just dyeing your ends. I'm gonna leave that there as well for an hour. I'm actually gonna try and dip this part with the lighter pink and just leave the parts that I don't want to dye outside of the bowl. So I'm actually planning to make this kind of like gradient and let's see the result later. <laughs> Here's the dark hair. So I'm just letting that soak in for a really long amount of time and I actually chose a lighter color just to see if it actually shows up because if I put that in a darker shade I know it's not gonna show up at all so. Okay now so after this I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. I just place it in a plastic for a while just so that the color is going to take place. So I'm gonna leave that for one hour and I will be washing it off with cold water. Here they are after I just washed it with cold water. It's still wet so I'm actually going to blow dry this so that we can see the true colors after that. So yeah. Okay, so I just dried them all off and this is what it looks like right now. I really, really do like the shades. These bottom ends right here are the ones that has brown tints on them. And on top right here to where it's really vibrant is the ones that has blonde tints. So you all can really, really see the difference. Okay, so for the dip dye part, this is what it looks like right here. So in here in my dark hair extensions, no matter what I did, the color just didn't appear. So I don't think that this is actually going to work for dark haired girls like us. Okay, so here it is. There's the green right there. And then this is the purple. And then this is the red one right here. It kind of looks orange. And here is the pink one at the back right there. Oh, how do you guys like it? I actually do like it. It's really really fun to put in the hair and also by the way my hair extensions are 100% human hair so I feel like this would actually be a great thing for me to do because it actually looks really authentic. The result is good. It actually blends really well with my hair and um, I do like the colors. They're very out there and um, I really thought that at first it's not going to show properly. <laughs> so I feel like with this I have to wear a hat so you all don't see the extensions that I put right there. Okay, so which do you guys prefer? The dip dye side? Or do you guys prefer the highlights one? I think this idea is really cool but at the same time the only issue that I have with this is that it has a tendency to really get messy. 
So I didn't like the messy part and I didn't like the cleaning part at all. And also when you do this, make sure to wear gloves. If you're putting this on yourself, wear a shirt that you don't mind staining or applying a towel on top of your back. So that is it. I hope you guys like this try DIY. So if you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments down below what more try DIYs or DIYs that you all would like me to try because I'm very interested to see and to know if those DIYs work or not as well. And I will see you guys tomorrow, which is Friday. Bye!